Okay, so you're having trouble deciding on which real estate broker to choose. EXP Realty, Keller Williams, Compass, Century 21, Coldwell Banker, Remax. So many brokerages to choose from. It can be a little bit intimidating having all these options and then being able to only choose one. Side note, if you ever decide on changing your sponsoring brokerage, you totally can. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, here are three tips on how to choose the right real estate brokerage for you. Tip number one. I know this is going to sound a little weird, especially if you're coming from a retail space, but you are also interviewing your broker. And while each brokerage is different, they all have something in common as well, such as monthly fees. Some questions to ask regarding cost are, what are the overall kind of fees that are involved? Is there a marketing fee? Is there a desk fee? What about the franchise fee? Free? Fee? What about the franchise fee? And most importantly, what will my commission be? Huh, that all kind of rhymed. I swear I didn't make that happen in purpose. On purpose. I can't speak today, I'm sorry. It's always very important to know what you're paying for and what your commission will be. Also, you want to know what the brokerage is going to provide for you. After all, you are paying them a monthly fee. Which leads me to tip number two. Okay, so you made it to a point where you're done talking about the money. Now you can actually ask about what is the brokerage going to provide for you. Important things to ask would be, are there trainings? How often are there going to be trainings? What kind of software they provide? Is there a mentorship program? That's very important if you're a new real estate agent. Does the broker supply leads? What does the real estate broker do for you? Like I stated earlier, you're going to be paying a monthly fee, so you need to make sure it's worth your time and your money. And tip number three, what is the company culture like? What do they stand for? What are their goals? Is everyone doing their own thing or are the agents actually helping each other out? Nowadays, it's even good if you ask if everything's done at a physical location or if everything's remote, being as that there's been a lot of changes in the last few years. Companies have gone remote and the same applies to real estate brokers. You need to decide if having a physical location is gonna be important to you in order to succeed. Myself, being a new real estate agent, having a full-time job with no prior real estate experience of any kind, I knew I had to join a brokerage that would supply me with a lot of training, a lot of support, and the flexibility to fit with my work schedule. I decided to join eXp not only because I had a computer science background, okay, maybe I was a little bit biased because I had a computer science background, but when I found out that everything was online and everything was accessible at any time of the day, I was pretty much sold. And I still haven't gotten into the benefits that eXp provides. If you want to see more on eXp Realty and why I chose them as a full-time employee working towards becoming a full-time agent, click on the video right here on this corner. Hope this was quick and helpful. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. As always, if you have questions, leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next one.